What's up everybody and welcome to the second episode of our new web series. And today we're going to be looking over how you can square up the cards, how you can spread the cards to get a spectator to pick one, and also how to dribble the cards. So all these three things are very basic methods, and they are included in pretty much all magic tricks which you use for cards. So yeah, we're going to quickly go over those three methods, just so you've got those in your repertoire when you're learning cards and different things like that. The first thing we're going to do is look at how to square up the cards. So if you've got a messy deck like this and you have it in your hand, there's no way that you can do pinky breaks or any of the different tricks that you need for, for card magic. So what we're going to do is look at how to square up the cards. So first things first is when you have a messy deck like this and you want to put it in your hand. As you can see here it's a bit of a mess so you can't really do anything particular. So for example you want a pinky break you have all of these cards up here which you won't be able to do it with. So what we're going to do is take the deck in our hand with maybe being right handed I put it in left hand but you can alternate it as well and only hold it between your thumb and your index finger. So those are gripping the cards like that. So you've got enough pressure on the cards, so you're actually holding them, but not enough pressure that you can't move them. So then what I do, take the other hand, take it on top, now when you push down first, so the tops and bottoms are pretty much in line now, then what you want to do is bring these fingers around to hold the deck like you would in your dealer's grip. And with your right hand, you just sort of push them together and like so. So again, if you've got a messy deck, so you want to hold it like that. So with the index finger and your thumb, just hold it like that, other hand comes over, squishes it down at the bottom, other hand comes up, and like that. There's lots of different ways you can do this, so even if you've got them like this, you can just sort of hold them in hand, push down, and push across. But again, it's just find the way that's best for you, and the way that I recommend is, like I said, with your two hands, bring your hand up, and you can also square them down like that. And use your other hand just to square up the side like that, and then you've got a squared up deck. The next thing we're going to look at is how to dribble the cards. So once you've got your deck squared up, now it's time you can dribble them. So again in the previous video we learned a thing called the biddle grip. Hold your deck like this, your index finger is turned over, your thumb on the bottom, and your other two fingers on the top. So you've got the deck like this. So essentially you can now dribble across with your hand because you have your thumb there, you dribble with your thumb, and these fingers are holding the card steady. So then what you can do, if you hold them above your hand, you can just dribble them down. So you see the first time, I had my fingers too much pressure on, so it was only coming off on the thumb. So as your thumb comes down, like that, your fingers are also doing that. So when you're dribbling the cards off, they'll dribble down like that. So when you get the pressure sorted, instead of having them come off and clump like that, what you can do is just do it in one motion, and they all dribble down. Just takes practice and just takes time, then eventually you'll be able to dribble them like that. And that comes in very handy for card tricks and different things. So last but not least, we're going to go over the two-handed spread. And this is a basic in card magic, as you've seen it on many tricks before. Pick a card, any card, that's what they use. This is what it looks like. So basically you spread the cards so a spectator can pick a card. Just like so. That's it. So what you want to do is hold the grip in dealer's hand, or you can go mechanic's grip. It depends on what you feel comfortable with. I usually do a modified grip. So instead of having my hands up there like that, I'll have my fingers further down so I can easily spread the cards over. Just hold them in your hands. So for my example here, I've got my thumb on here and my fingers down here. Then all you have to do is you can spread off cards using your thumb, like you would dealer's grip. And while you're doing that, you keep a hold of them and you just spread the cards. So there from underneath, what I'll do is just hold it like that and you can spread the cards. Again, underneath, like so. So the best way to do it is when you push out your first few cards, you hold them like this, and I like to extend my fingers out to hold the other deck. You start to push them out, and then you can extend them out, and essentially you've got all the cards there, so you can see here, you can pick any card. Yeah, that's the two-handed spread, and obviously that's the one you use for pick a card, any card, you can push a card on them, or do anything else. So I hope you enjoyed that, and then something new, we learned the dribbling, the two-handed spread, and also squaring up the cards. So the squaring up the cards comes in handy with all of them, so when you do the two-handed spread, you've got your cards back that essentially, so you can do your squaring up the cards. Same with the dribbling, when you dribble your cards, you're going to have a messy deck of cards. So again, just like that, and square them up. And until next time, see ya!